एक बंदा जो लिपस्टिक बनाता है जरूरी नहीं वो लिपस्टिक लगाता हो तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट फिल्म इज अ बिजनेस ऑल्सो एंड सो इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी दैट इफ यू आर डूइंग द बिजनेस ऑफ फिल्म यू एसेंशियली नो एवरीथिंग अबाउट द क्वेश्चन इज नॉट वेदर पीपल हु आर मेकिंग दीज प्रोडक्ट्स दीज फिल्म हैव चेंज और द और द कंज्यूमर हैज चेंज इज देर अ टेस्ट and the language is there is there the language of people which is which has changed okay and when it come to language of people i think it always changes when you say that people who are uh, writing movies these days are english speaking and hence they don't know hindi i just have a question when do you say somebody knows a language really how much of knowing a language is really knowing a language eventually like like all of us agree here it's also a lot to do with the consumer like prasun just said so it 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 is defined mainly by people who watch it and ultimately if i have a high flowing hindi even if i know it and if i put it on in a film what if it is not understood by the people who it is meant for so it, it it's i think a fallacy to assume that people who are english speaking and are writing hindi actually don't know hindi at all my love for words is what makes me a writer not my my knowledge of any one language so i think that is far more important for a writer to have which is to be able to put across a thought in, in the most clear manner the idea eventually that connects with the audiences and not the words jo language ki baat ho rahi hai jahan tak ek language hoti hai jo ki sahitya ki language hoti hai jo literature ki language hoti hai jo jisko preserve kiya jata hai which is language as a art form ye hota hai functional language aur ye har har kaal mein raha hai कालिदास संस्कृत में लिखा करते थे लेकिन हर आदमी संस्कृत में बात नहीं करता था वेन यू राइट स्पेशली इन फिल्म यू आर रिकॉर्डिंग रियलिज्म रियलिज्म सिचुएशन एंड ऑफ द कंटेंट देन यू ट्राई एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट यूर सेल्फ इन टू दैट एरिया इन दैट मेन यू कॉन्ट बी अ वर्ड्स मेथ इफ यू आर डिमीनिंग द लैंड नया वर्ड इन्वेंट करने में कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है लेकिन आपके पीछे उसके पीछे आपका क्या मकसद क्या है एंटायर जनरेशन दैट इज लर्निंग लैंग्वेज थ्रू दीज आर्ट फॉर्म्स वेदर इट इज थिएटर वेदर इट इज सिनेमा वेदर इट्स म्यूजिक एंड इफ यू डोंट प्रोटेक्ट आर लैंग्वेज फ्रॉम बींग बास्टराइज इन दीज आर्ट फॉर्म्स देन देन आई थिंक वी आर इन फॉर ट्रेवल एज फार एज लैंग्वेज इज कंसर्न you say the dialogue in the last 10 years has become more realistic it's closer to how people speak largely dialogue is defined by uh, the characters like on the, like urban like you said there's a lot of english speaking uh, people who are writing hindi dialogue and hence there is a sense of it being uh, um, translated and not transliterated but uh, in the recent time that's not true we are only saying are we depicting the culture correctly are we saying what exactly the society is doing i am also an artist who have who needs self expression when i was writing song masakali for him masakali didn't exist as a word me and rehman were jamming and uh, rakesh ji was there and said masakali rakhte hain masakali uh, i think everybody asked what masakali means i said kuch nahi hota uska matlab acha lag raha hai sunne mein and humne rakha logon ko acha laga the question is we are we you know trying to be authentic all the time or are we is there a room for self expression well it depends on what the task is that you set yourself so there is no task so no, this task is to have fun no, entertain people supposedly we are all moving towards more realistic cinema right that's the claim that's being made only within that context is one asking for the dialogue to be more true to life and supposedly the shift has been from exactly that that beautiful word dialogue bazi and the assumption is ki dialogue bazi ka matlab hai pictures mein jaise log baat karte hain so that we are apparently yeah. moved away from so, do you want to come yeah yeah so why do you want to move to realistic cinema? i don't want yeah. to no, nobody wants the claim to. is being made uh, uh, no we we uh, why do we want to be real N- none of us in a living life and in our imagination are real people you know we behave differently and we think differently we wish differently what has happened maybe in the last 10 years the object of the movie has become more greedy we become more greedy filmmakers because we we are uh, always looking towards the box office and the revenue model mm-hmm. more than a art model so when you become greedy you try and preempt your audience and you say wo kya kharidega acha wo aisa bol raha hai ye aise karte hai ye aise karte hai jo maybe kitne aadmi the are yo samba mein 
there was a pursuit of excellence as such. I'm so sure there was a yeah. pursuit of the market as well yeah. in that. No, there was, absolutely. Yeah. But um, uh, oh, what, what I'm trying to say is that uh, when everything becomes a formulae mm -hmm. and everything becomes a statistics and you start talking about my film will go to multiplex and over overseas and so and so, that's where you'll see a shift of more and more calculated visions rather than original visions. I just wanted to add a little bit about uh, the notion of authenticity in, in cinema and I think more than authenticity, I mean, I think what one really aims is the believability, say believability within the context of that story, within the context of that film, within the context of your intentions, yeah. uh, the artistic intentions of that film. Uh, I mean, we've grown up watching films like Guns of Navarone where the little <coughs> Nazis speak in German accent and yeah. English, you know, yeah. and we believe it and you buy it. That's in yeah. the context of that film. Yeah. Uh, even say something like Zindagi Na Mele Dwara, I mean, very honestly, those people typically would be speaking a lot more English than they, exactly. they do. Exactly. But you buy it. Yeah. But you buy them, at least I did. I bought them speaking Hindi and it, it worked perfectly fine for me. And I think it's fine yes. what you, uh, yeah. you know, what the person is trying to say there. I, and I do agree, there are commercial considerations to that in, in the sense of that you are trying to, at any given time, at the end of the day, you're making Hindi cinema and you're trying to address a uh, a largely Hindi speaking audience. So if your film is 90% English or 90% Bengali for that matter, it doesn't really, you know, does it still qualify as Hindi cinema? When you talk about Masakali, you talk about a word coming into language and it is becoming a word. Masakali is a dead word. Yeah. I don't ever use that word. So as far as that coinage is concerned, as a symbol, it is dead. You don't say that Masakali is a dead word. You say that in a sentence. I'll tell you. And that Masakali, what do you I, I wouldn't feel confident in, in, in entering the universe of a, of a Hindi speaking character and making him a real person. Real people don't just use Tapori language and street language, they also have important emotional uh, conversations, right? They, they really express themselves. So if you have people who are, uh, who are English speaking primarily, they are not going to be able to move too far away from their limitations and that will show. That's not a compulsion that you are from South Bombay and you cannot make a film about a Bihar uh, this thing you can if you understand the sensibility of that subject if you understand the sensibility of that milieu i think you can cross boundaries filmmakers make such films uh, you know certain times aisa lagta hai that they are putting things they are throwing things on you know the audience today's audience actually is quite satiated when you shell out money your expectations are ki kuch kar yaar hila mujhe so now there is a huge expectation from a filmmaker that कुछ नया किया है नहीं इसलिए marketing बहुत जरूरी हो गई suddenly have you thrown stone and made ripples or not because you are dealing with an audience which is completely उसका पेट भरा हुआ and उसके but here cinema is also an industry which needs to survive to survive you need to attract their attention so yes there is shock therapy out there yes there is uh, there are things which are created for effect uh, definitely out there. Yes, marketing has become important. Yes, stunts have stunts around films were very rare. Now stunts means you know the events which people do and create controversies. There were controversies, but now it has become all, almost part and parcel of the of the marketing mix. So yes, getting your audience to theater is much more challenging, and as a result, a lot of things are done to sort of attract them. And do you really need realism? I mean, at that much is that's the question I'm asking the panel. Uh, I think let's just stick to language. <laughs> <laughs> or realistic language, you know, that's the. No, 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 no. It's it's. Uh, see, the point is not what whenever whether it's a realistic filmmaker, whether the subject is realistic or fantasy or whatever. Ek mantra hota hai, it should be holding, boss. I mean, do whatever. You know, I don't care whether you are giving me a gyan or you are just taking me for a flight of fantasy. Do it right so that I enjoy the film. So, uh, I think that the fight should not be between the realistic cinema and the fantastic cinema. It should not be that. Is it good enough or not good enough? There are many films which, which sound real. I mean, there is nothing called absolutely real because it is really not happening. But if it is holding, it is holding, boss. And fantasy might be quite a trash that you are watching a fantasy film and say, what the hell is happening? That happens. So, it is... It is it's the quality of the film. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you.